allies obtained information from a laptop. They said Hunter Biden had abandoned at a Delaware computer repair shop. So related to Hunter Biden's dealings with CF, uh, CFC, China and Burisma, other materials included sexually explicit photos of him, as well as pictures that appeared to document his use of illegal drugs. This is once again on the laptop that they found um, that was at a Delaware computer repair shop. Get the fuck out of here. Who the hell is leaving a laptop at a computer, especially the president's son of you? Dude, but really? <laughs> like, I hear you, bro. If your but laptop like, broke right see, now. Door, but he said he abandoned it. He abandoned Dude, it at the computer repair shop. The guy, and, is a, he's, he's on heavy drugs all the time. We don't but, know what you do on your laptop when we're not here, Seth. Yeah, well, he's, I, yeah he's but got I'm not, I'll not. i tell you what, whatever it is, I'm not abandoning it. At a Delaware computer repair shop. Say that after hit of meth. Say that after hit of You can find links to all our shows at arcanemediallc.com. That's R-K-A-N-E-M-E-D-I-A-L-L-C.com. Now let's get started. And now, recording from beautiful and sexy Miami with your host, and Labs and Research Lucas. It's because we said so. Camera looks good. Thank you. Face looks awesome. All right, well, this is because we said so. We got Seth in mic one. We got Laz in mic two. What a cheese ball, bro, really? <laughs> we got Lucas in mic three. Hey, hey. And Ronnie B is back in hey. mic four, bringing the heat, bringing the controversy. You it's gonna no. It's going to be, It's we got a lot to talk about. So uh, you can get us at our website at BWSS Podcast. Um, or Arcane Media LLC, which will take you there. Twitter is at BWSS Podcast. YouTube is because we said so. You can email me any questions or comments at Seth at Arcane Media LLC.com. We record everything at Arcane Studios. You can watch all of our shows on YouTube or you can listen wherever you listen to podcasts. I code the show for YouTube, so you should watch the whole thing. But if you want to skip ahead, guess that's fine. All the music is by the insi- Unsilenced. Laz you can oh, I do that every time. You can check out our sister Laz show. Laz is here. I'm here, guys. Yeah, Laz is Sorry. here. Our sister show, Your Inner Buddha, Spiritual, Growth, all that neat stuff. And uh, you can get all of our links to all of our shows at Arcane Media LLC. Uh, dot com. I release when the editing gets done. Please tell your friends. And this is episode 110, Hunter Biden porn, messy in Miami, an army soldier runs into North Korea. We have WTF news. We got Laz's Corner Positivity. We have a funny video of the week, and we also have quick news. Before we jump into anything, did anybody this, you know, did anybody hear, actually, let me go ahead and it's time start for it up. quick news. So I guess you guys saw that Twitter is now X, right? Yeah, we saw it. So <laughs> there's whack. there's no more Twitter. It is now X. Elon Musk is like, hey, forget Twitter, forget the name, forget the 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 brand, forget the most he iconic. <laughs> I know, bro, he but fucked up. he probably just wanted to buy the infrastructure. He fucked up. He did buy the well. Both. Yeah, I mean that's what I mean. That's the reason, probably. You know what I mean, like, well, here's the thing. So X.com was something that he was a part of back when he started his finance company. X.com was molded into PayPal, which he was a big part of. When he sold PayPal, PayPal got X.com. He ended up purchasing it from them recently. Um, He said it had sentimental value, which, of course, I can understand why. But I know he paid, it was was eight figures, at least 10, maybe 20, 30 million dollars that he paid for it. But now if you go to X.com, it takes you right to Twitter. I don't know. It's just, it's just crazy that Twitter Twitter's gone. Like it's just doesn't exist anymore. It's insane. The the logos changed. You go to, I mean, it's still twitter.com for now, but that's, that's about the change. I'm guessing pretty soon it's going to be when you go to twitter.com, it's going to take you to x.com. As of now, you go to x.com, takes you to twitter.com. But I'm just, I don't know. I'm just. I, I forgot what the reason was. It was like um, the X, Xfinit of something. What was the reason he changed it for? Well, bro, he wants to create a website that does everything, like e-commerce. Yeah, no limit. Like something yeah. like that with unlimited, wants, whatever. Well, he has a big thing with X, too. Like X, you know, uh, SpaceX. And I know like one of his uh, Tesla cars was like the X or I think the first one, the X Roadster or something like that. 
So I'm just saying, like, he's he's always had a bit of an affinity for the X brand. But, bro, I, I'm just, I'm just, I don't know. I should have gotten that. Yeah. He fucked that up. He yeah. Fucked that up. I mean, do. You can add it. I could, yeah, I'll add it in post. I have it somewhere. I'm pretty sure. So, but I'm just, I'm just surprised, you know, that they would, that he would let it go like that. So, did I guess we all heard that by now, right? Yeah, pretty much. So we were talking about Russia and Why how are you laughing? I don't know. Uh, and how Russia has been um, decided, just made the decision that they were going to take over like companies that they wanted to take over. Basically, because of all the crap that's been going on, they're like, hey, we're going to nationalize your company. So I don't know if you guys saw this, but Russia seized Carlsberg beer. Did you guys hear this? No. no. So Carls- Carlsberg beer in Russia, Russia now owns, and Danon. So Danon, which is the yogurt company, they own Danon, they uh, own the uh, silk milks like the uh, pistachio milk and the almond milk, Acti- Activia, which is a yogurt. They also, o- Oikos, which is a yogurt, uh, Avion Water. So they seized those two companies. So now Russia has control of those two companies. Uh, Avion Water as well? Avion Water, in, yeah, is owned by... Is the, owned, Russian, like the Russian the part Russian The right? Russian government seized these companies in Russia. They but the now Russian, own, like, yeah, the like company the, or the, like, the factory? No, it's like All the Russian it. outlet, like the one that serves Russia, you, you mean? Yeah, right? they can't seize Avion. Well, no, they don't own the Avion company, but they took over the land, the manufacturing, like... Whatever they have in Russia. They, yeah, Russia owns it. Yeah, but now they took over, but that just means... So now those companies are not going to export their product to Russia anymore. Well, That's those those companies exactly. I don't think Carlsberg is going to be exporting Carlsberg beer anymore. I don't or think Danon is going to be yeah. or Danone is going to be exporting to uh, that. But they basically just took over. Luckily, like McDonald's, like we're out of here. There's a lot of companies like peace out. Yeah. But the companies that decide to stay, that, that's what you get. Exactly. Sorry yeah, about that. Oh, that's life, dude. <laughs> Sorry <laughs> about that. Should have gotten that while you could. No, nah, but like in situations like that, it's like, okay, if you're going to make your money when you're making your money anyways, while it's still there, if they decide, oh, we're going to seize a piece of your property, if they don't, if you own it, eh, what well, you're, you're fucked basically. Yeah. But if you don't own something and you're just leasing it, then someone else who lives in Russia is going to have a problem, but not anyone from outside. Well, so it it's matter. just that basically those companies actually, Lucas, can you, can you, oh, caught him right in the middle Research of a long Lucas. yawn. <laughs> can you look up Carlsberg beer? And I'm just curious if like this, if the stock went down recently as a result of this. So exactly. They probably like bottled their beer over there. But they have a lot of, be- it's like Sam Adams has like a yeah, shit like, ton of Sam the, Adams yeah, beers, okay. but they have other beers as well. But they're no, like but everywhere. Like, and they're no, it's like the, the Russian branch, you know, it's like saying like when they have McDonald's in Korea, even though McDonald's is an American company, you know, the McDonald's. Yeah, I, I, I get it. I get that. So it's like. You shut it down, you shut it down. Fuck you. They shut down the Russian side. Yeah, the Russian side. Yeah. Yeah. Which is stupid because that's all all it means is they're not going to get the product. Yeah, they took their building and whatever assets they had over there. Also, they probably like um, make certain things for that branch also. But it doesn't matter if you're not. I mean, there is, I'm, a, I'm on the website now. Um, there's like uh, Afsana. Uh, um, but if you go down far enough, uh, I pr- damn, there are so many. Wow. But I'm pretty sure if you go down far enough, there's probably some like Russian style. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. right here. Whatever this is, this is well. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it looks like they do have some, man, they make a lot of beers, but some of this stuff does look like it's in Russian. So, uh, Baltica, Baltica, uh, pale Baltica grapefruit. So it looks like, you know, those beers are now the property within the confines of Russia of the Russian government. Oh, quiet, please. Here we go. Sorry, Lucas. Oh God. Go for it. You asked about the stock. Carlsberg beer. Yeah. It looks like at least today, it has not gone up nor down. Of course, there has been changes, but it's trading at 30.64 per share. What about the last week? Can you look at like the last 30 um, days, see if there's a little bit of a dip? Because this was announced uh, um, last week. I'm just curious. The 20th, 20th, it closed at 30.25, but they jumped up to 30.92 the next day. Okay. So, you know, maybe it had a little bit of a dip and people were like, you know what? 
screw you, Russia. We're glad we're out of there. So what do you think about them apples? Oh, yeah, about them. No, so, they're definitely going to lose a lot. <laughs> moving, uh, yeah, I mean, Russia and beer. Did you guys know that in 2000, I'm pretty sure it was 2012, actually. It was a soft drink. Lucas. Yeah, beer considered was considered a soft drink until 2012. A soft drink? Yeah, they got classified as an alcoholic beverage. I'm pretty sure it was 2012. In Russia? Lucas, are you drinking Mad Dog? Maybe, bro. Really, bro? Can we? Can you, put the, can you put the bottle up for the for the viewers to see? Almost said for the listeners. Mad Dog wow. 2020. Wow, bro. Good lord. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do the slow one. Mad MD Dog 2020, bro. Dude, that dude, ain't no joke. Put, yeah, That's like yeah, the white it's, man's put, um, Colt 45. <laughs> dude, poke, poke your head over it if you could see the screen. I saw. I saw it. Oh. All right. All right. Yeah, like, give me a break. Wow. So Dude, I'm, I'm still, sure you, moving on. Only, go ahead, Lucas. I was, was going to say, it's still only like five, six bucks a bottle. <sighs> yeah. Close, what, why are you drinking that? Are you homeless? Does it come with a, <laughs> exactly. it come with you a bottle of Advil? <laughs> so you guys saw the bullshit with, the, uh, with Florida and changing the textbooks to say that uh, slaves benefited from being slaves. You saw that oh, shit? No, yeah. I didn't. Well, yeah, I saw the article. I didn't see that. The f- Bro, they changed, like, they're changing the textbooks, and in part of it, it was a situation where, like, they pointed out that the slaves benefited because of the skills that they got and blah, blah, blah. The reason I bring this up was because DeSantis was asked about it. I think it was today. And he was like, yeah, it wasn't me. You have to talk to the Department of Education about that one. It has nothing to do with me. I'm sure they looked into it. I'm sure they talked about how yeah. some of these guys oh. moved on to become blacksmiths and you know they got the skills. But I'm hey, sure, if we t- stayed where the hell we were the black people were supposed to stay in the first place, it would never happen. Like, is, what the hell, is Betsy, bro? Is Betsy DeVoe or whatever her name is in charge of the education down no. there? No, 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 no. She was she was in charge of education when Trump was in. Uh, I think for like her tenure, uh, but no, she that was national. I think she was a sec- secretary of education. Actually, research you're the freaking research movies. guy, and it's not Betsy. They wouldn't have got the skills to what? What? Like what? Well, what? I hear That's you, bro. The, like, I hear yo. you. I can't believe you guys didn't see this. This was like the end of last week. But yeah, uh, DeSantis is like, hey, it wasn't is, me. This is probably part of my beef for later. Anyways, I so. didn't see that shit. Yeah, dude. Like, but I'd like fuck? to see the textbook that has Manny that, Diaz. Though. Not just them well, saying Well, they haven't it. released it yet. They haven't released him yet. What is it, Lucas? It's Manny Diaz Jr. He was appointed uh, June 1st of twenty of last year. Of uh, Yeah, currently. But when Trump was yeah. in, it was Devo or whatever. By the way, yeah, yeah uh, no, Ronnie has no, a little bit of a cough, it. people. So... You know, have to bear with him. We gave him a little paper towel to cough into. <laughs> All right, so let's let's jump into Messi in Miami because this is a pretty big deal. So it's Alex, Messi in Miami, yeah, all right, okay, I'll <laughs> give it to you. So Alex, who's been on the show several times, he's one of those guys that, bro, he texted me once uh, from a hot air balloon in fucking <laughs> Egypt, bro. No way. He even Facetimed me on WhatsApp from a hot air balloon in Egypt with fucking like pyramids in the background and shit he's always just happens to be in like cool spots so he sent us a video all of us in the group chat of Messi kicking that goal that won the game i didn't realize it was overtime i didn't realize like you know it was such a big freaking deal how sick was that right dude so sick bro you couldn't have scripted a better entrance than that What, what game was this it's the first game, I think. What game first are we game? talking about? What, what sport? With the Miami soccer team. I'm talking shit. Bro. Really? Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So I know they asked from IndianExpress.com why Lionel Messi chose to sign for Inter Miami and the role Apple TV played in it. I want to get, quote, I want to get back to enjoying myself, to enjoy my family, my children, the day-to-day, Lionel Messi said while sending shockwaves across the footballing world. By revealing he would be leaving his current club, Paris Saint-Germain to join Major League Soccer's Inter-Miami. PSG wasn't giving him the joy he had when he was at Barcelona. Barcelona did want him back, but he didn't want to go down that road again. After years of being under pressure to emulate Diego Maradona uh, Maradona, uh, and win a World Cup for Argentina, Messi decided that it was time to put himself and his family first. The spotlight has been beaming down on him ever since he made his senior Barcelona debut at the age of 17. That's insane. I didn't realize he was so young. So after achieving all this there is to accomplish in the footballing world, it's understandable for him to choose to go and play in Miami, where pressure to perform at the highest level will not be as intense. Saudi Arabia promised him hundreds of millions if he chose to play there. Messi said he wanted his family to enjoy themselves, and they can do that in Miami. What Messi really meant was, 
my family's not going to enjoy themselves in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, my exactly. wife can't fucking, you know, go she anywhere. Can't even take a walk. Yeah, bro. <laughs> like, the fuck out of here. Yeah. So first of all, we're going to clap up Messi for saying no to Saudi Arabia because they're just trying to buy everything. That's for sure. So were you guys surprised, like, when he decided he was going to come over here? No. Yeah. I, it makes the most sense. If okay. You think about it. Explain. Miami has such a large Argentinian community here. I think the be- the biggest in That's the United true. States. That's true. You have a very Hispanic influence here. It's the one of the best cities in the United States, if not the best, in my opinion. There like, you where, go. Where else you gonna there go? you go. Where I'm going to say go? Philly, but I'm biased. So are you. Yeah. <laughs> Philly. Yeah, bro. Oh, Philly, whatever. Bitch. No, but look, if you, if, <laughs> you got not two being Phillies, biased. you got two Miamis. All right, but not two being Miami's, biased. I'm, I'm, two I'm, Phillies. I'm not even Seth, on the Seth. Philly or Miami situation. Not like, being why biased. would you go to Philly for soccer? No, but like not being <laughs> biased. You know, Miami. Yeah, but the Philly, hold on. Philly went to the national championship last year in soccer. So suck it. Now you know it's never happening again. Okay. That's right. There we go. All right. That's true. Yeah. Messi you down here, you're probably right. Yeah. Oh man. And also I think he's gonna he's gonna he did a breakthrough because now a lot of other soccer players are gonna be like, all right, let's join the MLS. And maybe the MLS is gonna blow up. Who knows? Yeah, that that's what I was saying. I, I was that's what I was saying. I was thinking like maybe we're gonna have like a, a soccer hold in the United States. Yeah, now, Beckham now play he, here. He did, did Beckham play here? Because I know he owns he did, a part he did. of Miami. He did. Okay. So it wasn't easy for Inter Miami to sign Messi. It took months of negotiations with MLS. The Miami ownership, Adidas, and evil, even Apple getting involved in creative pitch to bring Messi to Miami's pitch. Apple signed a 10-year broadcast agreement with MLS. Every one of the league's matches is broadcast on MLS Season Pass, a streaming service contained within Apple TV+. Plus. So Apple TV+, Plus, they you can watch all the games. The foundation of MLS's $2.5 billion agreement with Apple rests on subscription sales, a portion of which... Uh, go to Messi as part of his deal. So he's going to get a por- portion of the subscriptions for all of Apple's subscriptions as a part of this deal. Apple announced last week that it will show a uh, still untitled four-part documentary se- uh, series featuring exclusive behind-the-scenes access to Messi. The 35-year-old's deal with Apple could potentially see him become the face of MLS during the World Cup um, and added to Adidas' long relationship with Messi since 2006 and their willingness to share profits his face in MLS could spell a windfall. If the numbers PSG reported during Messi's time at PSG, which is Paris Saint-Germain, which was his last club after Barcelona, um, PSG generated $700 million in revenue over the course of a one year uh, after his arrival in PSG. Uh, when Pele signed with MLS in 1975, he managed to influence a generation of American footballers. David Beckham came in 2007, briefly took it mainstream and main, uh, made MLS a lot of money. Messi could make MLS explode. I didn't realize Pele oh, played here sure. in 75. I didn't even realize there was MLS in 75. You know, Messi, just in this short, short time, became became the face of Miami. Oh, Look big at time. Him. Look at him. Yeah, He's the main guy in Miami right now, the hottest city. He's the guy. Tickets were going for like two thousand dollars to the game when they were like a hundred bucks before he signed. Yeah, for yeah. front row. And there's video of him going <laughs> to Publix to buy yeah. groceries by and himself. Shit. Yeah, yeah, crazy. dude. Well, he had his family, I think. No, I mean, like not like no security, you know. Like, yeah, just buying pu- like, like yeah, you know what like, I mean. Shopping at Publix, like what? That's the fuck freaking that? awesome, that's awesome, dude. Even I need somebody to like that's hilarious. stop the people from whatever, me. bitch. <laughs> Jeez. Secrets. So, Messi, we're glad you're here. I think it's great, you know, being in Miami. It's a big soccer community, football community if you're international. I want to check out a game. I've never wanted to go, um, but I sure as hell do now. And the fact that he could be the face of MLS, American, uh, which is Major League Soccer, America's soccer franchise or group or whatever, uh, for the World Cup is a, is a pretty big deal. Yeah. So let's talk about uh, Travis King. This is the guy that decided to just walk into North Korea. So, and I said quick news. This news isn't going to be as quick. Messi's a little bit longer. This is a little bit longer. But before we get started, you got to be crazy to just decide that you're going to like run over the DMZ where a lot of times people get shot. You'll get shot trying to enter South Korea. Sometimes you'll get shot trying to run to North Korea. You got to be crazy to run in there. You got to be crazy to do it as an American. You got to be crazier to do it as a, as, as a part of the army. And I hate to say this, but as a black guy, they do not treat Americans 
you know, they're super racial over there. You know, obviously American military guy. Like, what the fuck was this guy thinking? He lost his fucking mind. Completely. He lost his mind. Completely. He's lucky. But bro, he's lucky he didn't get shot. Well, he's I don't know how lucky he is right now, but he dude, I so there's been some conflicting like thoughts about how they're treating him. So he's this is tortured every day to be honest. Uh, that's what I'm thinking, but uh Derek Kai in Singapore and Jean McKenzie in uh in Seoul from BBC and this is Juming Park Josh Smith and Matt uh, Spitalnik from Reuters. I combined these two articles to kind of give the the proper timeline cuz some had, you know, information that others didn't. Private Second Class King was reportedly investigated for assault in South Korea in September 2022. According to local media, he was suspected of punching a Korean national in a nightclub in Seoul. He was fined 5 million won, or roughly 4,000 American, 3,000 pound dollars, for repeatedly kicking the back door of a police car and screaming foul language at the officers trying to apprehend him. From May 24th to July 10th, he served a sentence of hard labor in lieu of paying a fine. So like, hey, you want to give us money, or do you go to hard labor? As an army person. As an Amer- U.S. As army person. Mer- Correct. Right, right. Personal, yeah. Whatever. Uh-huh. So he decided to to go into hard labor labor instead of the four thousand dollar fine. So after his release, he was placed under. I wonder what hard labor is like. Lucas, <laughs> can you you know what? now in North Korea we know what it is. Can you just look up South Korean hard labor? You know prison. I'm just curious. Is, um, what's that? Uh, uh, spelling it out. Okay. So after his release, he was placed under military observation for about a week in Seoul, Korea. Uh, local reports quoting officials said he was released on July 10th after serving two months in jail. He was escorted to the airport in Itcheon near Seoul for a flight back to the United States where he was to face just uh, disciplinary action, but he did not board the plane. Korean Times, quoting an airport official, said he arrived at the boarding gate alone as military police officers were not allowed to accompany him all the way to the plane. King texted his army escort to say he'd arrived at the departure gate. Then he told airport personnel he didn't have his passport. Airport personnel escorted him out of departures. And that's where he was able to get away from the army, get away from them. And that's where he, you know, moved into the the, the DMZ. Oh, this guy's like a scumbag. So if maybe, maybe if he's crazy enough and he got to the right person, he could have been like, I have some secrets to explain. That's what I'm thinking, bro. You know, now he sounds like a crazy guy. Cause, so. Nah, bro. I'm telling you. So here's the thing. Why else would he run? It seems like he's running away from South Korea. And, I feel and like he's gonna get in trouble. he was wearing a hat that said DMZ on it. I don't so know, was that like I'm gonna be the guy wearing the DMZ hat? Don't uh, that? I it wasn't. All, it wasn't until last night when I was really researching this. I was like, you know, I was thinking that that could be a possibility. You know, maybe be. he's you know defecting. It could be. Bro. It really could be. So he left the terminal to embark on a tour of the DMZ between North and South Korea, where foreigners can visit uh, via tour companies. King had booked two different DMZ tours prior to his 50 day detention. So before he was to go in jail, he booked two tours. He wasn't able to make the first tour, but was confirmed for the second, scheduled for last Tuesday when all this took place. An eyewitness on the same border tour described hearing the soldier laughing loudly before making a run across the border. At around 3.30, the group had just left the building and were standing around taking photos when King, wearing jeans, a black shirt, and black hat with the letters DMZ printed on it, suddenly ran between the structures toward the north. It happened pretty quickly, she said, with American and South Korean guards shouting, Get him! And unsuccessfully uh, successfully trying to stop King from crossing, I assumed it was some kind of stunt, she said. This is once again somebody who was on the tour. The messenger reported King ran to the back of the building where he entered a van was driven out of the area by North Korean troops. U.S. officials say they have not heard from him since. Oh, shit. You think he was in contact with them? So why would you be laughing out loudly? You're wearing a thing that says DMZ. Like, why the fuck was there a van there? <laughs> th- bro, bro. There that's must have what been I'm some saying. kind of contact. That's what I'm there saying. There had to be. Lads, you don't think so? Of course. <laughs> like, yo, bro. Like, There's a van I'm, there. <laughs> I can't even think, like, what's wrong with him? <laughs> There's a fucking van I waiting for him. <laughs> it makes no sense. It it's makes crazy. Bro, it makes no sense, bro. So you asked me about South Korea corporal punishment. Uh, hard labor. Yeah, hard, I'm just like, what is it, hard labor? I couldn't find anything on a quick search for South Korea, but I found uh, North Korea. No, nah, we know that. Uh, we know that. Yeah. No, we don't know. It. Yeah, right. We know. We well, that's true we don't, but we 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 know. 
We can imagine. I mean, I I could tell you guys stuff that that has been confirmed. That's pretty like. I hate For to who? say, but women like, preg- <laughs> like <laughs> pregnant women being forced uh, to kill the babies that they just had, like that's dr- that, like I mean, hard. Oh, I don't know. No, because if you're there, there was, bro, like you're, you remember, like before, like if you're an American prison, you're like stamping license plates or something like that. Or no, yeah, I think over but there you're they're probably like, like twenty five cents an hour for that too. Yeah, but like you know, like they're not. Oh, who knows? I they think over there they have the them on the rice fields, like picking rice and shit like that. That you could know, be like crazy stuff. That could like, be. So retired, retired General Robert Abrams, which is awesome name for a general considering the Abrams tank, but retired General Robert Abrams, a former commander of the United States forces in Korea, said he believed we are seeing, quote, seeing the opening act of a tragedy of the utmost proportion. Yeah. I've got serious concern for King's health and welfare. I was actually glad they didn't shoot him on site when he came sprinting across the military uh, decremation line. Uh, he is in for a very rude, ama- rude awakening on how North Koreans treat people who unlawfully enter the country. So that's that's what the general was saying. However, um, King's uh, King's uncle Carl Gates told the Daily Beast he had been distressed over the death of his seven year old cousin uh, oh. from a rare genetic disorder earlier this year. "Quote: It seemed like he was breaking down. It affected Travis a lot." Gates said of his son's death. So the uncle, it was his his son that died, seven year old. And King apparently took it really hard. He was obviously over in Korea. That might have been when he, why he was acting out. Um, when a U.S. soldier defects, North Korea has to create a security and surveillance team for them and arrange an interpreter, a private vehicle, a driver and lodging, uh, said former Korean diplomat Tai Yong-ho, who is now a member of South Korea's parliament. Pyongyang- this is for North Korea or South Korea? So th- South Korean, um, uh, this South Korean guy um, who is a member of the South Korean parliament now, but he was a North Korean diplomat at the time before, but he's the one who's telling you they got to get an interpreter, private vehicle, driver, lodging. You know, this is all the stuff that if, happens. If they get to North Korea. If they if, get to North Korea. But yeah, what's crazy is when a U.S. soldier defects, like... How often does this happen that there's already like a president? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was, that's what, okay, I'm just curious, like, okay, continue. But, but, yeah, anyway, so Pyongyang, has, Pyongyang, the, Pyongyang the, the capital of North Korea, has typically treated American and other Western detainees or defectors well to avoid political blowback, says Andre Lankov, director of the Seoul based Korea Risk Group, Korea Risk Group, same with the company. The notable exception uh, was U.S. college student Otto Wombier, uh, who died in 2017, shortly after being released from North Korean prison. We know how that turned out. He was over there. He'd like to face a sign or rip the sign off the wall or something like that. But he wasn't military. He wasn't military. They took him, and it took years to get him back. They brought him back. They flew him over. He was in a coma when he got here, and he never survived. So they did some, I mean, they did some shit to him. Yeah. So uh, detainees are often housed in North Korean equivalent of a four-star hotel. Still, analysts suggest King's stay in North Korea could be lengthy. So they're saying they get treated well. You know, apparently there's like a precedent for what you do when U.S. soldiers defect or whatever. The generals, and I, I mean, I mean, one of the things were to set up a private car, and it was there. So. The van was there, bro. Was there. I think the only thing, wait, but he was on this side or the other side. No, the van was on the, the other thing side. Thing is, was the van sitting there waiting for them? Like, how long before he ran over did they put him in the van? Like. Yeah. You know, is it like an extraction? Like, go, 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 get in the van. He like, could have been in contact. You never bro, know. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Bro. There's, there's some... no way there was a random van. Or there. maybe that there's so much, like, American military that's going in there once in a while, and they've done, like... There's no like... American military going to North Korea. No, I can no, tell... like, randomly, no, like, for, like, surveillance. Like, I know it's a defection, whatever. There's defect, no defect. U.S. military going into North Korea for defection. I doubt there's even CIA in there. Like, you you would have to be crazy. Yeah, but how would they have the law? Like, with their I, I supposedly... Hear you. No, I, I you, yeah. yeah. No, it I makes a good point, they, but, bro, it's just so defecting. hard to fathom. Yeah. What's that? No, I think there would be soldiers defecting. Maybe they offer them money, they offer them things, and they're like, all right, you know, I can tell you what's going on over here. You know, whatever. So yeah, they have that they protocol. They have no food, bro. These people are starving. No, the, that, the you can't no, hold on, hold on, hold on. The country has no food. The people, the, the military, the, yeah, the military whatever, yeah. and their commanders, they, they got have food. food. They, they got have money. stuff. <laughs> like King yeah. Jong Un's got Edward money. Edward Snowden's living pretty well right now. Let's <laughs> be know, honest. They got money over there. They ain't playing, <laughs> bro. This is this whole thing is. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. There's been that we know of. There's been no contact. 
you know, like, hey, we, we got your guy. Or We don't even know what's really going on in there anyways. Yeah. No, we don't. Yeah. We, we have, have no, no idea. idea. We, we have, have no, no idea. idea. It's true. But the whole situation could is be like Wakanda. crazy. <laughs> what's that, Lance? You never seen that documentary of the guy that went in and secretly filmed everything? In North Korea? Yeah. There have been a few of them. Yeah, there's a lot it's of fucking them. wild. Yeah, yeah, It's, it's on true. HBO. I said it could be like Wakanda. I'm just talking. It's just no, you should, you should, I, I don't know that. I should watch it. I it's don't, fucking really crazy. Yeah. And uh, he showed how they set up like in the four star hotel. So like, it, it's all fake. So like, so they'll have a whole stage. Yeah, but yeah, they, they, looks, what they he, want you to see. Yeah, yeah. what they want the person to see. Film, yeah, or he actually secretly filmed. No, he secretly filmed. Yeah, dude, they'll kill you film, for that. They'll kill you. Yeah, he, he probably secretly, like, literally kill you. He was saying like every day, he's like, my life is on the line. If I get caught, I'm dead, but I'm going to do this for, you know, whatever, for my for my documentary. He secretly filmed the entire thing. Research. Lucas, what's the name of that that documentary on HBO? North Korea, secret filming. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Crazy. HBO. Uh, hold on. Give me a second. I so I, I just, I don't know what's going on with this guy. Um, he had to have, like... It just seems like like something, it was pre happened. set up. Yeah. Nobody runs. Kingdom. What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, it. The Hermit Kingdom. Yeah. The Hermit Kingdom. There's no All way. Right. All right, Lucas. It's time for. Wait a minute. What the? What the what fuck? The fuck? <laughs> it's WTF news. So yeah, we'll we'll uh, any updates on on King? This freaking guy, dude. Nuts. Travis King. We'll we'll definitely you know we'll we'll let you know if, if anything comes up. So, uh, all right, Lucas, what you got for uh, WTF news? He takes another sm- sip of that oh, freaking Twitter blue. I can taste it. Mad oh. dog. Mad dog, bro. I'm so disappointed in you as a brother, as a as a human being. Like, what is, like, come on, bro. Ugh. Why don't you Seth. just drink penis? <laughs> he's, he has too much penis already. So yeah, good. seriously. He's he's so like just it's so much penis that he's like, I need to wash my mouth out uh, with something that's going to get the penis taste out of my mouth. <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> good you know, Lord, bro. That's funny. Seth, funny. The worst I love you. Ever. <laughs> I love you, but this I did it just for the reaction, for your reaction. Well, you got it, bro. You got it. Where'd you even get that from? Liquor store. Yeah. Like, uh, sell what's it by the percentage? rubbing alcohol. What percentage is it? Um, I'm gonna. All right, hold on. Don't say. What percentage no, no, are we gonna f- guess? What percentage? I want to say forty two. No, no, no. I would say close to like twenty two. Like I'll be, I'll be like sixteen or seventeen. Nah. Sixteen or seventeen. Yeah. All right, Lucas. Thirteen. Oh, oh shit! Right. Really? Like we were wrong. Laz was closest. Yeah, they're not doing 22. Not that's that like bad. 13, 22 is like a Malibu. Sure. That's true. You should have known that. Sommelier. Bro, Mad Dog. Of yeah. As a sommelier, I know You should all know what that smells like. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it smells like everything. All right, Lucas. What's your... Uh, and he knows you... beer. Like, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like... but Mad Dog, bro, that doesn't... I can tell you right now, if I would have even mentioned the word Mad Dog at my SOM exam, I probably would have failed on the spot. <laughs> they would have like, kicked him out. The like, I'm place. sorry, bro. You would have been yeah. banned, banned. Yeah, seriously. The freaking Moonshine Club is across the street. All right, Lucas, what you got? I mean, besides what the fuck Lucas is drinking, that's WTF <laughs> news right there. Uh, what else you got? So this is from ABC 27. Okay. Uh, a local channel, and I did check it out on a few, but I just picked this one because it was easy enough to save. Okay. A uh, fan throws mom's ashes at Pink on stage. Oh, no what? way. Wow. So Pink the singer was performing, and a lady th- threw her, a- her mother's ashes on stage with her. Wow. Wow. What is it with people throwing shit of, like, performers? What was it like? Someone got hit in the eye. People are like throwing. I mean, it used to be like oh, panties yeah, and cell shit. Phone. Yeah, but Ugh. bro, someone's ashes. Yeah, because, of, because of big hair rock bands of the 80s are dead. You won't get panties and bras anymore. You still, I'm sure there's still some panties and bras, but yeah, it's true. But still, man, that's just. That's wild. Was like, the, did they say, was it the mother of a fan, like a fan? And Yeah. Uh, the pops are. Pop star Pink is the latest singer to have a fan throw an object on stage during a performance. Over the weekend, Pink headlined the British Summertime, the British Summertime and Hyde Park Festival, 
During her performance of Just Like a Pill, a fan tossed a baggie with a note that indicated the contents were inside where the person's dead mother. Okay, so he, it was just a baggie. It's not oh, like no, she it went wasn't out. like okay, the okay, ashes. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Maybe like, the mom wanted like to be there and never got to see her or something. Oh, dude. But that's so weird yeah. though, still. That's wild. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like Big Lebowski style. Like just, <laughs> you know? It just where, threw it right in her yeah, face. Just, Bash. No, bro, that's weird. In the video. <laughs> In the video, you could see the singer squatting down to pick up the bag and hold it up, asking, is this your mom? With a shocked look on her face, she quickly responded by saying, I don't know how to feel about this. Then she slowly walks a bag to the front of the stage behind the speakers as an uneasy look washes over her face. The So What singer is seen shaking her fingers clean, um, shaking her fingers to clean her hands discreetly yeah like okay back to the yeah. back to the show all right well that's that's a that's a that's good rough, wtf man. that is that is rough man like who at least he didn't like hit her in the face i thought it was like dust and you know <laughs> she coming out like a that's you know that's like she got antiqued bro. can you imagine that's got it that would be fucking hot. bro if she got antiqued uh, by that shit bro no oh, dude if you if you guys don't know what antiquing is, you got to check it out. That's some funny shit. Maybe. All right, so we're gonna move into shout outs. So, uh, Laz, any shout outs over there? No, nah, not this no, week. no shout outs. Okay, shout out everybody the past couple of weeks. I'm, I'm all done right, with, I'm done All with right, the people. you're done. Okay, all if right. You want to shout out? Text me, email us. There you go. <laughs> I even said that. You guys want a shout out? Just send an email Seth at RK Media LLC. So, um, any shouts? Oh, Lucas, you said you had a shout out. Yeah, yeah. G go ahead. Shout out for Seth for for approving my drink choice. Oh yes, I did. No, but not shout out shout, approval. Shout shout out to work for finally hiring help for me. Okay, you have a secretary now. What do you, what do you mean help? Yeah, no, uh, somebody to at least do uh, weights and dimensions of the orders and stuff like that to oh. fill in when I'm uh, doing like administrative work, stuff like that. Yeah. When I'm at the office, when I'm at the desk, I need someone to do the grunt work. You All know? Right. Yeah. Good deal. Well, I've, I've done it for about a year, except for it was kind of stolen because but here's, section... here's the important question. Are they lithium battery certified? That's yeah, the question. Off. No, okay. Not yet. Just, just, Not just, yet. just, just checking. You almost made me just checking. My drink. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Am I missing the inside? I'm missing you the inside. Are. Because you know what? Lucas you know is the what, only so? person certified to move certain. If boxes. you listen to all, watch all the shows, you would definitely get the inside joke. Okay. That's for sure. Seth, Seth, I toast that. Yeah, toast these nuts. <laughs> all right, Ronnie. Any shout outs over there? I'm shouting out the entire Zest team. Zest is the name of the restaurant that I manage. Okay. And I'm the chef at. So nice. Fuck yeah. Shout out to the whole team. You have team. to come in for dinner, bro. Where is it? It's So it's tough because it's a private country club up in Boca. Okay. So that, so never mind. it's not open to the public, but we do have very nice uh, friends and family events and things okay, like that. Sure. That, you know, maybe I can Keep me on the list, up. man. You don't know. Sure. I might be bring a my camera. Already. Are there, sure, are there sure. black members? Of of course, okay. Two. This isn't one. We're not up in like North Carolina. This isn't North no, Korea, my, bro. I have, yeah. I have a cousin that lives in West Volca, and it's pretty much like it's pretty white I mean, up there. Look, pretty white hey, up there, bro. It's pretty white up there, but doesn't mean anything. Like doesn't. No, mean no, no, no. I know, I know. I know. I'm just asking. All right. Well, I I want to shout out uh, UK because we've been getting a lot of listens. We got some new listeners in the UK that have been hitting us up. So nice. I wish, yeah, I mean, but listen to like old episodes, like thirties in the forties and the fifties. Oh, I love that. Yeah, bro. It's just been, and like several people watching different episodes. So really appreciate all, all you guys and gals that have been listening. Uh, and they haven't been watching on YouTube. They've been listening, but if you guys want to watch the show, it's a pretty awesome show too. Nice. Um, and I do, we do have a video of the week. I'm not going to be doing this every week, but I got to show this. Laz, if you want to stand up and watch this, this shit is <laughs> fucking hilarious. So this is a guy knocked on his drug dealer's house, and uh, yeah, he wants to get some drugs. Hey, man, big dog, I need you, big dog, boy, yeah. look here. Boy, I need you bad, man. <laughs> yeah, I need set up, kid. 50, man. Shit. Oh my God, I mean, the job. Got down me waiting up, waiting, Dude, waiting his... to see what I come up with. Got down me. I said, let me go cheap out. <laughs> his jaw Shit. is back and forth. What the fuck? Big dog. Big brother, 50. 
Man, it's oh too late. It's laying in the night, man. Where did you get this from? Oh, what the shit, fuck? Shit, man. When you off this shit, it ain't never too goddamn late. <laughs> <laughs> this, shit don't, this shit don't sleep. <laughs> Oh, you know, not this so this funny. shit don't sleep, man. Formerly Norton's I Twitter. Yo. <laughs> oh. Man, 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 get off my pores, man. Get off my pores, man. <laughs> no, you're tripping, Here we go. Bro, get his jaw. Drop, man. Come that on, is I so fucking to, funny. Man. His side man, I'm in the bed, man. to side. <laughs> man, shit. <laughs> Oh hey. my God! This is yeah, so the fucking bed, funny. Man, don't, don't, don't come to the bed, but asleep. <laughs> man, wake your game up, big dog. I need one. Oh <laughs> what the fuck? I need one, big dog. No, you don't, bro. Man, get out of my phone, man. <laughs> you tripping? Hey, man, God damn, man, God damn, look here, big dog. <laughs> Don't turn on me now, big dog. I need you. Oh, fuck. Man, get out of my pores, man. God damn. Bye. I'm trying to get away because uh, All right, big dog. I'm trying to get some, big dog. <laughs> Bye. Oh, he's all right, big dog. I'll holler back at you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck did you I'm find this? In the morning. Oh, I'll hit you up in the morning. Bro, it's like on the guy's porch. God knows where they are. He's got a backpack on. His jaw is side to side. His eyes are wide open. Uh, on a website, uh, a guy on a website formerly as, known as, as Twitter. On a website, that is so funny. Formerly known as Twitter. Yeah, so <laughs> that's that, that is that's exactly. Seth's voice funny. after that video. Yeah, like, exactly. On a website, after Lucas. Let me send you the link. I know you didn't get to see it, but uh, that's all right. All right, we're gonna take a quick little break. And, you got uh, to hear it, though. You got to hear it, though. That's for sure. And uh, we will be back with the Hunter Biden saga. Boo. Ronnie cannot wait. <laughs> Me. Me too. Blue skies turn to gray when you're so far away. Oceans don't undulate. We're gonna we're gonna jump into this whole Hunter Biden thing. This all started because Marjorie Taylor Greene decided to put some Hunter Biden porn in Congress. <laughs> so let's go get through Hunter Biden first, and then the, and then at the end we can talk about you know all that that bullshit. Um, this is uh, Betsy Woodruff uh, Swan from Politico, um, and there, there's a there's a, another um, article that I that I come in here with as well, um, but just a little bit of uh, a little bit about his, his history, his up, upbringing. 1972, Neely, his mom, and Naomi Biden, his sister, died in a car crash on the way to buy a Christmas tree. Uh, Bo and Hunter were in the car. Those are the two brothers as well. Hunter was uh, Hunter's skull was fractured in the accident, but he and Bo both survived. So his sister and his mom died in a car accident in 1972. Um, Biden got his bachelor's degree from Georgetown University and his JD in 1996. JD is your doctor of jurisprudence. That's the degree that lets you practice law. He got that from uh, Yale. For much of his life, he struggled with substance abuse. 2013, he joined the Navy Reserves in a White House ceremony attended by his father, um, who was then the vice president, but he was discharged after testing positive for cocaine on his first day at the nasal, naval base. Uh, two years later, his brother, Bo, died of brain cancer. So a little bit of history. I mean, he's, he's, he's had a little bit of a rough, you know, life with everything going on with his siblings and his family. 
So going to some of the controversy. So wait, he he tested positive for cocaine on his first day on the job on the naval base. Uh, the thing what did is, they though, What did they find at the White House the other day? Oh God! Just okay. saying. <laughs> you know the thing is though, like I knew someone that was doing all. Um, they were doing the Coast Guard training, or whatever. Like they do the basic training. Sure. And then they give you like whatever, like a few weeks off before you actually like go back into it, whatever. Yeah. And then he tested positive for marijuana, and. It's like they just do a random test. Not for everybody, but they just do random tests. So it's like it could happen. So they don't know what you're doing. It could happen if you fucking <laughs> if you like, fucking doing drugs and shit before you join. Yeah. It yeah. I mean, but at the end of the day, they <laughs> so have you go to have through a reason. basic training. We made it. Yeah, like so, but they didn't they you know, before you do all that stuff, they make you do drug tests anyways. Yeah. So at this point it's probably probably like, Oh yeah, you know what? I'm good, you know? And then they just like, ah. So what happened to your friend? Was he discharged? Oh, yep. Yep. Really? And then he tried to lie to his dad. It was a cop. <laughs> and then his dad knew somebody and looked it up. Wow. This is a long time ago. This is like sure, sure, sure. 13 years yeah. ago. I That's wonder, I guess even now, it's probably still this, this situation yeah, with marijuana. Yeah. It's still federally illegal. So ties to Chinese businesses. Hunter Biden has drawn media scrutiny over the years for connections to scandal-plagued, now bankrupt Chinese energy giant CEFC, China Energy, According to Washington Post report, the company and its executives paid $4.8 million to entities controlled by Hunter Biden and James Biden, which is the president, uh, Joe Biden's brother. Uh, the company was founded by Yi Jianming, a Chinese national who was dep uh, deputy secretary for several years in a Chinese military organization that has been called a front to a unit of the People's Liberation Army, uh, Army responsible for intelligence gathering and propaganda. So Hunter Biden and uh, his uncle, James Biden, were paid $4.8 million uh, by uh, a guy who was a deputy secretary for the Chinese military uh, and an arm that was you know, part of the intelligence ga gathering and propaganda. So that doesn't look good. Hunter does, it, Biden, does it get any more clear cut than that, though? For real? Well, let's clear cut. Uh, let's keep let's keep it going. It, it only gets better or worse depending on which side of the fence you're on. If you're a Democrat, team. gets worse. If you're a Republican, <laughs> gets better. Hunter Biden met Yi in May 2017 and offered to help him identify investment opportunities in the U.S. energy sector. Biden started negotiating. Hunter Biden started negotiating a deal for the Chinese energy conglomerate to invest in a Louisiana liquefied natural gas project. Once again, 2017, Yi recruited Hunter Biden to provide legal advice to another CEFC official, Patrick Ho. Uh, the same month, FBI agents arrested Ho, who was convicted of seeking to boost CEFC's prospects in Africa by bribing officials in Chad and Uganda. He received a three-year prison sentence for offenses uh, in March 25, 2019. Hunter Biden also helped start a private equity fund known as BHR with a number of partners, including Chinese businessman Jonathan Lee. The fund helped a subsidiary of Chinese defense conglomerate. So a subsidiary of Chinese defense conglomerate. So buy a Michigan auto parts maker and help the company buy one of the world's richest cobalt mines. So Hunter Biden's dealings with Chinese people doesn't look good. Just going to put it that Dude, way. It's just as shady as it can get. You can't, I don't care. Forget about politics. Cause it has nothing. Hunter yeah. Biden doesn't oh, represent bullshit. Democrat or Republican. He's just a guy, but the president's brother and son are getting paid by another country's like whatever energy like it doesn't but, but they're part of the chinese military too that's what i'm saying like it doesn't make that's like i don't know how you can't argue you can't say that that's not shady you can't say 100 oh, percent oh, nothing's shady. going on there nobody like, says the it's not definitely shady. shady dude it's the president that's automatic like if you I don't know if you if you take over a company and then all of a sudden your brother is getting paid money by the rival company. Four point eight million dollars. You know what I mean? Like, but it's a, it's a state too, thing. It's though. too clear cut. It's too clean. They didn't even bother to go around. Like they were like, yeah, my brother. It's my brother. It has nothing to do with me. You know what I mean? I hear you. Like it, what is that? It's, like, it's, how? it's it's it's. He's one of my f bombs. It's pretty fucked up. It's fucking crazy. It is. So that one that's of your China. F -bombs. What's that? One of your F-bombs? I, I, I think today. I used like one or two. I'm running out, but I definitely feel like I got a couple left. One so that's, that's China, okay? Now let's talk about Ukraine. A Ukrainian energy company. So in 2014, 2014, 
Hunter Biden joined the board of Burisma, a Ukrainian energy company. He seems to be getting involved in these energy deals. Yeah, of course. Uh, helmed by uh, Mikola <laughs> Zlochevsky, who previously served in the government of Ukraine, Russia's friendly former president. So basically, Mikola Zlochevsky uh, was previously a part of the Russian friendly Ukrainian president. Um, at the time, Joe Biden was helping lead Obama's administration's uh, Ukraine policy. While Hunter Biden was on Burisma's board, his father, along with a host of European allies, pushed the Ukrainian government to oust prosecutor Viktor Shokin. Shokin's office had been investigating Burisma, and Joe Biden indicated the Ukraine wouldn't receive a financial aid package until Shokin was out. So the Ukrainian government, which has long relied heavily on Western aid, fired him. Biden was alone in pushing for Shokin's ouster. Uh, a host of European allies and international institutions also called for his removal. No evidence has emerged that Hunter Biden ever pushed his father to seek Shokin's firing, but Trump's allies charged that Vice President pushed for Shokin's firing, firing to protect the company linked to his son. Yeah, like, again, that's fucking crazy, bro. You're the Vice President of the United States, and you're using our country's power to influence another country to fire the prosecutor that's investigating the company that's paying your son. Yeah. What the fuck? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, how does that, how does anyone not even say, oh, well, you know, like, you can't have the balls to say, although there's no evidence. That's the evidence. There's well, no evidence to say that his son told his dad to do that. It's there. That's, Listen, he did it. We all know that I mean, I'm, I'm more on the Democratic side. I am not a Trump fan. I'm not a DeSantis fan. I don't love Biden, but what choice do I have? This is some fucked up shit. That shit's crazy. This is like, this is, this is definitely crazy. So here's the thing. So using the American government to strong arm another country to essentially save embarrassment of his son. Yeah. And then now with this war going on, so, so they, they looked out for him. They listened to him and he gave them the money. Okay. So now that the country's going to war with Russia, all of a sudden we're giving this random country trillions of dollars well, it's billions i mean like i i think we've reached the trillions no 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 nah. lucas how much have we given i'm I think gonna we've say reached trillions. Lucas. Well, like, how much with, how much do we think we've given i'm stuff? gonna say like 110 million how much have no we no given? no way no way it's in the billions for sure 110 billion oh did billion. i, did okay, I say okay, million 110 yeah, billion yeah. sorry last over a billion oh no shit no, like i mean i think we're in the trillion no nah. No, not so. a chance. No, nah, there's no trillion. I think so. All right, Look, Lance, if you come think on. about all the fucking war equipment that we gave him, it's unbelievable. Like war and money equipment. Yeah, and, and, and money. Correct. War and money. What? I said since the war began. Yeah. yeah. How since much? The war began? How much? No, I don't even think it's aid that much. have we given Ukraine since the war began? Yeah, I'm gonna say like about 110 billion. billion. 10 billion. No, That's more than that. We did that in one aid package. Let's see. What is it? What you got? Uh, July tenth, twenty twenty three. Council on Foreign Relations, CFR dot org. Okay. Since the war began, the Biden administration uh, and the U.S. Congress have directed more than seventy five billion in assistance to Ukraine, which includes what which say, includes humanitarian, yeah. financial, and military support, according to the uh, Kiel Institute. That's what's on the books, economic. though. Yeah, exactly. All right, yeah. whatever. A hundred, a hundred billion. Okay. All right, seventy five billion. Seventy five billion. For nothing, like, what do we care? Like, really? All right, do you I'm not saying let care? Russia it take matters, over. Bro. <laughs> it matters for who? How Does much it matter are you for us? Putting money in well, gas we've been paying. No, no, that has nothing to do. That's us. the whole reason that this country is still in a freaking recession yeah, or still inflation because right everything in this country Came and any country there. has no, to no. freaking go on a truck, and gas prices are ridiculous right now. Dude, I'm telling you right now, there's no benefit to us for for helping ukraine and no, yeah maybe and we should have something else to let russia go down that's the only benefit and i'm not saying to see I'm russia saying, fail and, but they're not russia's gonna win this war hands Whoa. down wow they are they already wow. won they, in my opinion they already won they're just well, how, why, how, why how do they win yeah how do they win ukraine's destroyed who's there who's left there's no one left if you look at what happened to syria you know they just they just obliterated syria well that's what's gonna happen ukraine is gonna turn into afghanistan you're always gonna have guerrilla ukraine 
Ukrainians that are going to be like fighting, Yikes. but it's going to be taken over within the next year, hundred percent. Next year, all by right. Russia. We'll write that down. Write it down. By Ru- it's already You're done. Back. All true. right, Jonathan Chait, New York Magazine, December nineteenth. This was December nineteenth article. Trump extorted Ukraine in two thousand seventeen and two thousand eighteen. The Ukraine. The reason I bring this up is because. Biden was trying to extort Ukraine. Trump did the same thing. The Ukraine scandal burst into the view of Congress and the public this summer when House Intelligence Committee obtained a whistleblower's report. The report focused on a July 25 phone call between President Trump and Ukrainian President Zelensky and Trump's plot to withhold military aid as leverage. It began with Trump's notion that Ukraine, not Russia, hacked Democratic emails. This uh, is the idea he raised with his call with Zelensky adding, uh, uh, asking his befuddled Ukrainian counterpart to locate a server that, according to his bizarre conspiracy theory, was handled uh, by Democrats over to Ukraine uh, that would prove Russia had been framed. American intelligence officials have described the theory as a Russian-backed disinformation campaign. Juliana undertook what appeared to be two previous episodes of trading diplomatic favors to Ukrainians in return for steps to protect Trump from the Mueller investigation. Remember, Mueller was investigating Trump for the whole bullshit with trying to work with Russia to, you know, put out that disinformation to get him elected over Hillary Clinton. The first apparent trade involved a meeting between Trump and Ukraine's then-President Petro Poroshenko in return for a Ukrainian investigation that would exonerate Manafort and then uh, then a prime target of Mueller. So Trump did the exact same thing, withholding military aid. I don't know if it's the exact same thing because it was holding military aid, but it wasn't to benefit his son getting money and shit like that. No, he was, was getting another. He was I'm trying sure to. It was to benefit himself. It was yeah. to benefit himself. They're trying was, to discredit Mueller, who was investigating Trump. But he was trying to get information about hacking going on and shit like that. I mean, it's a yeah, little but different. Ukraine. Like, let's be honest. Let's let's be. I'm honest. not defending it, but it's Ukraine it's also or shady. Russia. Who's 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 hacking the United States between those two? Russia. Exactly. Yeah, and he knows that. I know, but Ukraine is, in my opinion, Ukraine is Russia, bro. Well, it is. That's what Russia wants. But it is though. Half of Ukraine believes they're Russian. They might have not as much anymore. Not anymore, yeah. But they might have killed. They probably killed that. All right. So back to Betsy Woodruff, Swan Politico. Um, so this is uh, this is her article, the laptop saga. This is where a lot of this shit about Hunter Biden has come out. The final weeks of 2020 presidential campaign, Trump's allies obtained information from a laptop they said Hunter Biden had abandoned at a Delaware computer repair shop. Rudy Giuliani shared the material with the New York Post, which reported on the laptop's contents. So related to Hunter Biden's dealings with uh, CFC, China, and Burisma, other materials included sexually explicit photos of him, as well as pictures that appeared to document his use of illegal drugs, this is once again on the laptop that they found um, that was at a Delaware computer repair shop. The Post reporting garnered aggressive uh, pushback, including from dozens of former intelligence officials who signed a letter saying the laptop had all the classic earmarks of a Russian disinformation, disinformation campaign. Twitter then blocked tweets about the story and suspended the New York Post account for over two weeks before reversing itself. Facebook also temporarily blocked users from sharing the reporting. So all this stuff with the... Um, laptop, you know, stuff about the CEFC, his porn, you know, stuff with him bringing porn over and videos of him and all that just happened to be on this laptop that he left at a computer repair shop. Get the fuck out of here. Who the hell is leaving a laptop at a computer, especially the president's son of you? Dude, but really? <laughs> like, lap- I hear hey, you, bro. If your but laptop like, broke you right see, now. You didn't see the guy in the video with the fucking on the, at the door? But he at said the he abandoned it. He abandoned Dude, it at the computer repair shop. The guy, is a, he's, he's on heavy drugs all the time. He could have easily well, just left We don't know if it's heavy it. drugs all the time, but. Okay, but he has well, a know, history like, of it. We don't but, know what you do on your laptop when we're not here, Seth. So. Yeah, well, he's, uh, yeah, he's but got I'm not. A, I'll tell you what. Whatever it is, I'm not abandoning it at a Delaware computer repair shop. Say that after a hit of meth. There? Say How that after get... a hit of meth. Say that after a nice meth hit. Who's Come hitting him? I'm good, <laughs> bro. His son. They, he's, he's. I know, but more <laughs> crack. I don't know about whatever meth. it is. Maybe that you means... forgot where it was. I'm telling you, we dude. don't even know if it's his laptop, bro. Who it's cares? Just... The pictures are real, though. The pictures are real. So that's it. I don't know if they're real. They're, nah, dude, come on, man. Don't, I don't. don't go that like, 
you know, go that we got the, it's we real. got the pictures from Marjorie Taylor green. We're, We're going to get there. We're going to get there. So Luke Broadwater, New York times, RS with IRS whistleblowers, alleged political bias in Hunter Biden investigation. Two veteran IRS investigators leveled harsh criticism on Wednesday against the justice department over its handling of the tax against Hunter Biden. Uh, accusing the agency of shielding him from felony charges because of political and preferential treatment. During an hours-long hearing of the House Oversight Committee, the investigators Gary Shapley and Joseph Ziegler detained, or I'm sorry, detailed how they believe their work investigating Mr. Biden, the president's son, was stymied and slow-walked by Justice Department officials during both the Trump and Biden president's uh, presidencies, presidencies, oh, presidencies, duh. Uh, Mr. Biden struck, I haven't seen that word in a while. Mr. Biden struck a deal with the Justice Department to plead guilty to two misdemeanor tax charges and accept terms that would allow him to avoid prosecution on a separate gun charge. Mr. Ziegler described the litany of Mr. Biden's tax offenses, such as falsely claiming business deductions for a payment made to the Chateau Maman in Los Angeles. They going in on him, bro. A hotel, <laughs> like, they fucking, a they, hotel they, room they, they opening it up. for his drug dealer, <laughs> a sex club membership, and Columbia <laughs> University tuition for his adult daughter. So this is all stuff that he basically illegally did with well, money he claimed to. on his taxes. Uh, Representative Margie Taylor Green, a right big Republican, right wing Republican from Georgia, displayed naked photos of Hunter Biden engaging in sex acts as she questions whether evidence found on his laptop that he solicited prostitutes amounted to human trafficking. The gun charges from illegally possessing, possessing a gun as a as a drug user. So, bro, I know what Ronnie feels. I don't care what you say. Just all the shit that I said right here. There's no reason to show sex pictures of anybody in Congress. There's no reason. There's no reason for that, though. None. You but embarrass the fucking entire country. They're going, they're, but they're going to ham on him, though. That's because he's the president's what son. What do you mean to nobody. ham? What do you mean? Bro, oh, he's God, doing bro. this stuff. He's doing it. Yeah, Why, but what, what do you want to do? It doesn't have anything it? to do with anything, though. Like, it doesn't matter. It's thing. illegal. He, why oh. should you not hold him to what he's Because oh, okay. everybody, like, this shit is happening all across the country, all across all the, the time, world. All everywhere. They're putting him on so him. much blast because he's the president's son. Yeah. They it's the only him. reason. That's fine. They caught him. But they caught him for what? It has nothing to do with nobody. It has, it has something a, to do with that. That shouldn't be fucking you news. Know why? I'm no, sorry you know for why? fucking fucking. Hold on. You but know no. why? You know why? Why? Because they're trying to link the paper trail of where the money's going that he's getting. So if if they can find the link that his dad is giving him some sort of money, and then he's using that money for his business, and then he's writing off these expenses on his business, saying that they're well, expenses and they're not. Based on which what, is what they're trying to do. Based on what I them. just read, he's making a lot more money than his dad is. Well, of course he is because his dad's got to clean the money some way. Well, oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> oh, you know, man. bro. There's no reason. The only reason we, this even matters is because he's the president's son. That's it. That's okay, it. Okay, but still it. though. All right. So. I agree. He did some fucked up shit. He should probably go to jail. He should probably be shamed, whatever, blah, 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 blah. But the fact that Marjorie Taylor Greene embarrassed this country by putting that shit in front of the whole world in the chambers, she has no fucking respect. All right. So here's what I think. And this is the only reason why I get, I sent you the picture earlier. If you want to post it, post it. If I'll not, post no. it. Go ahead. But no, no. here's what I'm saying. This is the hypocrisy. So I'm going to post these up while, while Ronnie B talks. All right. So you can go ahead and talk about it. They'll be up for everyone to view. Here's the hypocrisy that I, this is what gets me mad about. It happens on both sides, but it happens a lot on the Democrat side. It doesn't matter whatever you believe, but. If you, if it's so appalling, because it's not only you saying this, all the Democrats are saying this, CNN, MSNBC, everybody's like, oh my God, how did she do that? How could she display this disgusting? Have any okay. Republicans said that? No. I didn't see any. You know why? Because they're, they're enjoying this moment because they what are. Democrats are doing are displaying the hypocrisy. <laughs> They're they're doing they're making such a big scandal about this, which is two heterosexual adults having sex, and she's showing it to a group of adults. In the meantime, Democrats that are so appalled from all that happening are also fighting to allow these books that are in children's classrooms right so now. So you said these books are in children's classrooms. Yeah, look them up right now. I'll give you the titles of the books. There's I got no them. way, bro. 
I, I'm serious. That's why it's so crazy. But here's the thing, bro. I our my good friend Benoit and friend of this show, he'll believe just about any bullshit that gets sent his way. He's still to this day. In fact, he texted me today. I only pull up my phone. Um, he he just won't he just won't give up. You are my brother, but you can't tell me this guy is not telling the truth. Seth! Exclamation point. Ooh. Hope your day is great, Benoit. He cannot no, stop. Who's, who, which guy? Who's telling the truth? I don't. I didn't click on it, bro, because oh. I because most of it's about <laughs> fucking COVID. All right, he so just listen, can't listen. let it go. Listen, listen. The one of the books is called "This Book Is Gay." Okay. Okay. Very popular children's book right now. And then the other one is called Gender Queer. I know you know it. Gender Queer, a I, memoir. Oh, I don't know it. No, no but it's it, it, where school. you find okay. this stuff. Like. It, it, you find it in your elementary school. This book is gay? Find it in, in your local elementary school. There's That's no where way. you find it right now. So they're leaving this book in after they banned all these other books. They didn't ban No, no, they didn't ban it. The reason why DeSantis passed whatever everyone says, don't say gay, which is not don't say gay at all. It's because he banned books like these at school. And but this book is still in the school? No. What they're doing now is they're allowing these books in public libraries and people are opening up pop-ups of bookstores where they're selling these kinds of books for children because that's not in school. So you can you can go buy them wherever you want. You like it's a free country. You can do whatever you want. So but these are children's books. They were written for children. So, and you're telling me right now, I go to the library by my house. You find this book. You can buy it right now on Amazon. In a children's area. In a children's area. Okay, here we go. So, Rolling Stone, <clears throat> excuse me. Rolling Stone, <laughs> this book is gay. Author says America's teens have bigger problems than her book. Uh, quote, if we really wanted to keep kids in the United States safe, we wouldn't be talking about books. We'd be talking about guns. So she says down here. Of now course, show the image of the book ad. she's talking about, though. Well, I showed. No, she's well, gonna show it. We no, just but about I show. It. I showed your image. They're not gonna have an image of of the book here. Okay. But okay. I showed your image. Yeah, yeah. So that's in that book for kids. Come on, bro. That's crazy. We gotta admit. We have to sit here and say. I, I'm gonna go look for the book. All right, but listen. If you if you're gonna sit here and say that what you were so appalled by what she showed to a bunch of adults at the House Committee is so bad, then you also have to admit that this is worse because this is no, for I, kids. I, I, I agree with you, but I don't think but that, it doesn't, that was in the two school. Two wrongs don't make a right, though. It's that not, doesn't mean right. that just because this person did something really fucked up that it's okay for this person that, to do that, it. But no, no, that right. book definitely wasn't in the school, though. It was, no, it's not definitely wasn't. It's in the schools right now, actively in California published, and New York and Oregon. First I'm published in 2014, Dawson's How to Be Gay Relationships has become a staple for sex ed classes. Yeah. But as the movement by conservatives to prohibit information um, about the LGBTQ topics in public schools has taken a hold around the United States, uh, Dawson's book has come under fire. According to Vanderbilt University in 2022, this book is gay, uh, became the ninth most banned book uh, in America, I'm telling you, how is it not number one? Yeah, but how did it get into the into the system in the first? Well, that's place? what I'm saying. And the people that are supporting it to be in the system are Democrats, and it's allowed in all Democratic states. Yeah, but they're not states. supporting that book. That specifically. book specifically, because they're not removing it. Well, all I can say is, and I mean, I'm based on the image that I've seen. I don't think that should be in any. No way. Yeah, no, no school. way. No way. No way. But no way. that doesn't mean we should be showing real pornographic images of anybody at all just to just for the sake of doing it. No, true that. It doesn't and I matter agree. if it's the president's son, not the president's son. If you are, you know, it's one of those it's one of those situations where, like, if you're that intelligent and that, um, you know, I would say that well able, which isn't doesn't really help my point. But if you're that intelligent, you're that well-spoken, and you're an individual that can really get your point across in a concise, constructive, and and, and well-thought-out manner, there's no reason why you should have to, you know, show that image. And, you know, that's just kind of what she does. She's oh. one of those people that just really wants to stir the pot. But based on everything, I took out a lot of the, you know, where a lot of this information came from because, like, oh, according to the Post and according to this and according to that, because a lot of times, according to blah, blah, blah from the Post, it just makes these articles a lot longer than I'm reading from but every single every single you know of the, uh, information every piece of information that I put in here has been cited and based on everything that I see here 
dude, Hunter Biden is just fucking fucking up <laughs> left and right. The only left thing, and right, and there's no reason to show these images. Not at all. The it's, only thing, the reason for, is the impact effect. The yeah, only thing, bottom line. But you shouldn't need to do that. You, fine, fair. The only thing um, I'll say, like for like sexual education purposes, based on how people are feeling now and how much more there are different types of sexual orientations. Some things should be shown, not the picture that you showed us, but obviously, like, dude, there's nothing right. you can say. Well, I don't know, like, when you went to school, they and never talked about this. No, we had to, you had sex ed, you had sex ed, yeah, but ed. not talking about fucking sliding it. In. I'm not gonna say it, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't talk about that, yeah, but grade at, level at, eight to 12. Everything is different. Reading at, age 14 to 17, according to Amazon. Everything everything is different now. But, you know, the thing that she did, it, it just embarrasses the entire country. The entire, the whole world, bro, the whole world sees that. And like, bro, what is wrong? And it's already <laughs> bad enough, all the shit that's going on in this country with January 6th, you know, and all that shit. And now you got fucking the president's son porn pictures being shown in, in, the, in, in Congress, bro. But let's admit that he he deserves to fucking pay for what he He did. deserves to pay for it. I will admit to that. Because if you really go down the drain, he did human traffic. If you take a prostitute from L.A. Yeah, but and every, fly her yeah, out but to New York. Bro, how many God, fucking people? Yo, no everybody's shit. not doing that. Bro, a lot on, of people are doing that. I'm pretty yo, sure you know two people that have that human traffic. That flew prostitutes from another state to another Who state? Who cares, bro? I don't know, I don't know Gates, anybody that's Gates ever did that. Gates fucking did it with a 17-year-old, so, and course, he didn't get shit. He should be in jail, though. He should be in jail, exactly. but he got away with it. Because but they didn't show lucky. porn pictures of him on fucking whatever. <laughs> he's he's smart. You know why? Because he's not a crackhead. That's why he didn't leave his fucking laptop at the fucking... Crackheads are no, people too. No, he does cocaine. I'm pretty sure he was, he was a he could use of cocaine. He didn't leave his laptop at the store. All right. So that's pretty much <laughs> everything we had. What a fucking moron. I Real still quick. think that's... Uh, hey, but... but before we get put a Trump, condom on first before fucking Trump's out. also a dickhead for fucking he's going down. I think he's going down. He's going I down. Think You're he Trump? broke the law. No, I know, but it doesn't matter. He still broke <laughs> the law. I'm not saying oh whatever. He Which broke law? the law, bro. What he did by saying oh I have these classified documents and he was like if yeah. I was still bro, the president that's just, this and that. That's just that, bro. That's not crazy. even him telling fucking uh Georgia to find him some more votes. They got that on recording too. Bro, I know, but that's not as laws. illegal. Like that's not as clear cut as what he did right now with the per, with the private document. Those are classified documents. The law clearly states that you cannot discuss classified documents you with should, people that are not. You classified. Have, I wish we could have gotten you on when we discussed that because we went through the entire. I even said on the that group chat, I hope he gets uh, indicted because he's getting indicted he's again. Going to. I want him to get indicted last week so we could have this as the main topic because you're going to be on the show. Didn't didn't turn out that way, but yeah, he's he's fucked. He's going to. He's and going the to. Trump people are going to be like, oh, that's bullshit. This and that. It's like, no, bro. But what's he crazy? He showed though, classified documents to a freaking reporter. Yeah, that's insane. He, he, right there, he broke a federal law, and he's going to go to jail for that. He has to. I agree with that because I I support the law. But I will say this though, and I didn't know this. Even if he's in jail. He can still be elected president. Bro, we talked about it. We had That's a whole crazy. freaking we conversation about, about That's fucked up, right? We talked about it. <laughs> Is the Secret Service going to be in there? Yeah. yeah, like he can actually <laughs> run for president from jail. Yeah. And, yeah. He, and if and I think if he gets arrested, he's going to win. Nah. I think so. Nah. I think even more. No. Nah. Run his choice. Would you vote for him? Yes. I'm not going to vote. Okay. I'm not gonna vote. That's an easy. That's an easy out. I'll the give only it to way, you. no, the only way I'm voting is if Desantis wins the ticket and he's not gonna win. So. Not gonna happen. I know. All right, we got to move on. What you got beef, Laz? You got some beef. I got beef with media, bro. Like, okay, not after all we've just discussed. We I all do. feel that. <laughs> like, oh, like, oh god, all of the stuff we've discussed, obviously, but it's like, um. Like, for example, the director of Miami-Dade Police shot himself. Mm -hmm. They tried to make it seem like it was an accident or something like that this morning. Like, in the oh, morning. this I happened up, this morning? I didn't even see this. This happened yesterday. Okay. Or, and, Suicide or? Uh, well, in the in the beginning of the day, it, okay. was, it seemed to be just an accident while he was, he was in Tampa for a sheriff's meeting and he was trying to be the sheriff of Day County, blah, 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 whatever. He killed him? So he's dead? Later on in the day, they, oh, they explained the whole story. Him and his um, 
wife or a partner were having an argument and this and that, and somebody called the police that he, somebody called other police that he had a gun in his mouth, supposedly. And when they came, they was like, no, nothing happened or whatever. And then they drove away. And then he shot himself in the temple, his right temple, and it went through his eye. Like, it wasn't whatever. But they knew that something was horrible in the situation, but they just try to make it like, oh, yeah, everything's fine. It was an accident, but he's yeah. recovering. You know what I mean? And then, like, he's recovering. So he's dead or he's not? Oh, um, he's not dead. What the fuck? It's, it's yeah. today. It's today. It literally, like, it's like breaking news. I'm sure Whatever he's not I said, be around much longer. He yeah. shot himself through the temple. They already, his eye. They, already um, they already put somebody as an interim <laughs> um, director of whatever Miami Day. But it's like, why did they already. They already knew the information. They already started lying to us from the morning, like until they probably figured couldn't cover it up anymore. And I lost something that I needed to find, and I just saw it randomly. And I was trying to find. It. I'm like, this just changed, like from eight o'clock in the morning when I wake up usually to when I take a nap and I woke up again. I'm like, oh, news has already changed. It's just like, bro, that's the thing just about local give us news. at least like. Most of the truth, like I don't know, like yeah. you, you know, you I mean, like why, like why do you have to lie to everybody about whatever the hell is going on? Well, up in my in uh, Maryland, Elena, Lisi, and I, we were doing Christmas shopping and went to a mall, and there was a news crew out there, like filming random people asking about. Apparently, there's there's a, like a shooting, like in the mall, like the previous day or two or something. I didn't know that, and so they came up, like, hey, do you mind if we talk to you about the? I was like, yeah, sure. So they're asking, so, you know, about it and, you know, they're like, so you scared? I'm like, no, not really. This and that, blah, blah, blah. I'm not really worried. Bro, the only part they used was me saying, yeah, I heard about a shooting. They did not use the part where I said, it, like, all the part about me not being scared. They only used people who said they were going to be scared. So they really, all the shit that I said about not being worried about, it, I'm going to do my Christmas shopping, not going to blow yeah, off. Yeah, it's, 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 they just try to, it's whatever bullshit. they're selling, whatever yeah. they're selling. They don't want, yeah. Don't that's want. true. Like, and so then they change it. And then it was like, oh man, like, go get the hell out of here. Yeah, that sucks, yeah. dude. It, and it's not only that, it's just like so much different things all the time. Like, well, unfortunately, you know, in this country, we don't do that. You know, what, what different, you know, us here, we're we don't. real media. We give you the real shit. That's yeah, for whatever sure. Whatever we know, that's real. That's true. All right. Well, if that's the case. Laz's Corner of Positivity. We're going to wrap it up with Laz's Corner of Positivity. We need some positivity today. Good Lord. Um, well, Biden will establish a national monument honoring Emmett Till, the black teen mm. that was killed in Saw Mississippi. That. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I, 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 I like this, even though it's, it's, it's a positive thing for a lot of negative things. I just want people to remember that they killed this kid for no reason. And yep. um, I hope it will bring more black awareness for a lot of things. Not in Florida. Um, like, what do you mean? Because <laughs> in Florida, they're just like just stripping, you know, anything racial from. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, they're they're doing that in a lot of other states as well. True. But um, they're going to put this as a national mo monument. And I just hope that other people will just pay more attention to it. Because it's even like yesterday, like some cop in, I don't remember what state, I think Indiana or one of those um, up north states. One of those states. No, it wasn't one, it wasn't <laughs> one of the southern states. We live okay. in one of them. And then dude literally had his hands up and there was like a, a highway trooper that was like, don't release the dogs, don't release the dog, don't release the And then a cop released the dog anyways. And like the dog attacked him. Which is, that's his job, the dog's job. But then it was like, we need to just take it easy and just think about that we're all human and just not like the black people are the illegal or bad people at the end of the day. True. Yeah. Very, so very hopefully true. this just does something else to honor him. We'll see. Well, I think that's awesome. Um, you know, I the fact that they're pulling down all of these Confederate monuments to put up stuff like this is definitely steps in the right direction that's for sure yeah for sure so all right well um any um any let that was a very very good <laughs> positivity <laughs> very positive so uh any last minute thoughts before we wrap this up no i think we've said it all we've covered a lot of shit today yeah good lord this is seth in mic one We've got Laz in mic two. Yo. We've got Lucas in mic three. Hey, hey. And Ronnie B 
counterpoint himself. <laughs> we got to bring somebody in here that just doesn't agree with this. Otherwise, yeah, we wouldn't be a good show. Love you, bro. I appreciate you. Appreciate you so your much, point man. of view. You too. And uh, we're going to come crash one of your parties at your at your country club. I love it. I'm gonna, <laughs> we're just, just going to book a fake wedding and do whatever we want. Right. Hey, like, we're going to book great. anything. And then For just, sure. I'm sure they rent the hall. Yeah, That's, they do. All right. There you go. <laughs> they do. They we'll do, do it. Uh, we'll, do a, we'll do a GoFundMe to pay for it. We'll put it on the show. <laughs> no, no, no. Just rent a, just rent a, a wedding for only like four people. No, no. We'll, you're we'll do a Mad over. Dog 2020 punch bowl. <laughs> With floating pieces of pineapple and, and gay. We no, we won't say that we know. <laughs> we won't say that we know him. We're just going to just do it. Yeah. And then uh, he's going to awesome. be like, oh, my God. <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be awesome. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Karma. Boom. Boom. All right. Yes. Boom. Then break it down. That will be fun. Bring it. So far away.